Hi, I'm Ben from the Android Developer Relations team. Today I wanted to show you how I looked into a performance issue in JetSnack and how I went about debugging and fixing it in Jetpack Compose. So I have here the JetSnack sample app. On the details screen, you can see it has a fancy collapsing toolbar effect, where as we scroll up, the content moves up, and as we scroll back down, the content returns to how it started. We've had reports that on lower end devices, this can appear a little janky as it scrolls. So let's look into why that could be. Before we start debugging though, let's quickly go over some required knowledge. Remember, Compose has three phases, composition, layout, and draw. Composition determines what to show by building a tree of composables. Layout takes those composables and works out where on the screen they will be shown. And draw, pretty self-explanatory, draws everything to the screen. Here's the cool part. Compose can skip a phase entirely if nothing has changed in it. So there should be no need to recompose just to relay out a screen. If we can avoid changing our composition tree, Compose will skip the composition phase entirely, and this can lead to performance gains. This is why our performance documentation states, prefer Lambda modifiers when using frequently changing state. Using lambdas is what allows work to be deferred to a later phase and for composition to be skipped. But why does this work? How come just using a lambda modifier means we can skip composition? Let's return to the composition tree and find out. The composition tree is also built up of any modifiers that are applied to the composables. Modifiers are effectively immutable objects. When the translation changes, and the modifier is reconstructed, the old one is removed and the new one is added to the composition tree. This happens every time the translation changes. Because the composition tree has changed, recomposition occurs. However, if we use a lambda modifier, the modifier itself is not actually changing. Compose is smart enough just to rerun the lambda when it needs to, and this is why the composition tree does not change and composition can be skipped. So remember, you shouldn't have to recompose just to relay out a screen, especially if it's happening on scroll, which will lead to janky frames. So whenever you see unnecessary recomposition, think about how you could move the work to a later phase. And with that theory out of the way, let's jump into Android Studio and fix this issue for real. So in Android Studio, there's a tool called the Layout Inspector and the layout inspector can show us the recomposition counts of our composables. So I'll open it up and let's have a look. I'll expand out our list of composables so we can see what's going on. And if we scroll the app up and down, we shouldn't see any recomposition because the state of the screen is not changing, it is just being relayed out. But if we look down at the recomposition counts, we can see the title composable was apparently recomposed 135 times. And everything else is being skipped. On the right is the amount of times a composable has been skipped. So clearly something isn't right here. So if we scroll it up and down again, we can see this number just keeps going up. You can also see the recomposition count in the main window, so we can see it's now up to 185. So something isn't right. If we double click on title, it will take us to where it's being used. And I'll close the layout inspector so we have more room to see. So title is reading the scroll state right here, which means anytime the scroll value changes, all of these composables have to be recomposed. Now the other ones are managing to be skipped, but let's have a look at title to see what it does with that scroll value. So it takes in the scroll and it uses that scroll to calculate an offset. And with that offset, it's passing it into a graphics layer modifier and that's what's doing the translation on the screen. And so we know from the theory we just went over that when we have a frequently changing state like the scroll, 
we should prefer to use a lambda modifier. And so Graphics Layer actually has a lambda form that we can easily switch to in this case. Here's the catch though, it's not quite enough to fix this issue. Because we're still reading scroll in composition, as in it's not inside a lambda, anytime scroll changes, we're still going to be recomposing here. So to fix that, what we can do is defer the read. And to be able to defer a read, we have to switch the scroll parameter to a lambda as well. So I'll just call it scroll provider. And so now instead of passing in the scroll value directly, we're going to pass in a lambda that gets the scroll value. And now we'll still have to move the read into the modifier. But now that we've moved the read to here inside the graphics layer modifier, we're reading the state in the draw phase. The graphics layer modifier runs in the draw phase. And so this should be enough to now allow us to skip composition. Of course, we'll have to fix our call site. But that should be enough to fix the issue. So let's rerun the app and see if we've achieved that. So I've rerun the app and opened the layout inspector. And now if we scroll up and down, we can see no numbers are appearing at all, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now composition is being skipped entirely. And we did that by deferring the read of this scroll value as long as possible. So we turned it into a Lambda here and then inside the composable, we made sure to read it inside our new Lambda modifier. And that's it. For more performance tips, check out our performance documentation at this link. Thank you.